Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I feel like I've been away for ages. I haven't been on like your screens, your screens, your phones, whatever, but I've been away for a week and this is my first time filming back. We are going in with something that's caused quite a controversy, quite a two-sided um, situation. Today we're trying the ColourPop Twilight collection. Listen. I am on Colourpop's PR list. They do send me PR, because that's what that means, obviously. Sorry. I do have a discount code with them as well and an affiliate link, which you can find down below should you choose to use it. However, just because they sent me PR doesn't mean I have to like it. And I have to be honest with you, from looking at this collection straight up, I'm not the biggest fan. And I'll tell you why as we go, but let's take a look at the collection. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give us video thumbs up. Leave a comment if you don't know what to comment. Let's comment lamb love. Lamb love. Spell it however you like. So the whole collection, we have the Twilight Eyeshadow Palette, which has 15 shades inside. This is the design on the front. It's very like foresty, um, you know, because of the film. And these are the shades inside. We'll talk about it in a minute. This top sticker on the top inside of the um, palette does give me Hot Topic's own kind of makeup, which isn't a bad thing because I love some of the theming of it, but um, I, I do find Colourpop tend to not do so well when it comes to collaborations like this. Again, we'll talk about it. We have two Super Shock highlighters. One shade is Meadow and the other shade is Vampire Skin. Meadow has like a pinky shimmer um, duo tone to it, whatever you want to call it. Vampire Skin is more of a silver and it's very tiny, tiny, minimal, like blue kind of shimmer throughout it also. Then we have the Like Diamonds Soul Body dry, uh, Shimmering Dry Body Oil because obviously Bella, what's her name? D Hadid says um, that, you know, his skin looks like diamonds. I personally don't like these body oils. They're quite glittery and shimmery, but if you, of course, because it's shimmer, but if you're into that, then it's a good body oil. I just don't like glitter. These are the, the products I'm like quite excited about, right? We have Team Jacob Lip Oil, which is a black with blue kind of reflex. Is reflex the right word? That's the word we're gonna use. We have Team Adward, which is a blue with a lighter blue kind of reflex. Looks cute. And then we have Bells, which is a kind of like deep blood red, I would describe that as. And then we have free eyeliners, which I'm actually not going to use because I don't like using eyeliner anyway and I don't want to open them. But here's some swatches on the screen. Um, not mine. I'll get them from the ColourPop website so you can see. Um, you know what? Let me send these to someone. If you want to win these, leave the, a black heart emoji or the vampire emoji and also your Instagram at or whatever social media at. I need a way to contact you to get your address. So do that and like the video. Yay. First impression will do. The, the palette I dislike. Here's why. <laughs> so, okay, so I heard that the theming was kind of meant to be like, you know, the, the whole movie has this hue over the top, this blue kind of like hue. Um, and this is where the palette took inspiration. Now, there are a million things in the movies. Let me just tell you, I don't like the movies. I'm not a fan. I also um, don't read a lot because I'm dyslexic so I've, and I don't enjoy it. So I've never really read the books. Um, I went to the cinema once to watch one of them and um, Jacob, his The Wolf one, right? Um, took his shirt off and literally everyone in the crowd went, ah! And I was like, you know what? I can't do it anymore. Dusty, dusty, crusty, fusky. Don't want it, 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 don't want it. This looks cool, lion and lamb. The issue with me for this is you're doing a palette, right? Let's just talk about the issue with it being in this palette, which is in collaboration with a very big corporation. Now what's it called? You know, franchise, franchise. A lot of people like this franchise, right? And it isn't just pay all people. <laughs> the issue with this for me is a lot of the tones have this gray pastel white almost undertone to them, which absolutely can be used on deeper skin tones in conjunction with other colors and deeper shades. But the deeper shades also have that gray like hue to them. It's a very strange concept. So I'm not impressed with that at all. This doesn't call out to me in any way. I know it would for some people. It's just, it just doesn't excite me at all. Saying that, let's do it. <laughs> and I do, I wanna say to Colourpop, not that anyone from Colourpop would watch this, but here's my issue, right? With these franchise releases. 
you disappointed the hell out of me with Sailor Moon. One and two. I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan, right? There is so much color potential, color families, different um, options you could have gone with within the Sailor Moon franchise that would have made incredible palettes and still been on theme, yet you came out with these pastely colors again that are almost reminiscent of chalk and you didn't listen to the fans of your brand of the franchises anything like that first time around if you worked for ColourPop and you saw the comments which of course you did off the first sailor moon release why did you do that in the second one why didn't you listen to the fans there could have been so much more opportunity within that and what you've gone and done again with this palette is released dust but thank you for gifting this to me it's appreciated right because then i can make this video honestly i'm a bit confused at what to do because all the shades are kind of horrible okay let's do it you know what let's try those crusty shades um i already have my eye primer on i do still have my crusty eye here so many apologies my crusty lip has died down a little bit we're getting there we're getting less crusty 2024 okay let's start with unconditionally which is this very pastel blue gray and let's do like a very i mean you can't really do something super vampy with this collection um i know the vampires in twilight aren't necessarily like you know vampire vampire they just kind of like wear jeans and stuff but like i would like to do something where i feel like i'm gonna chew someone's neck out you know this is fine the pigment's fine color pop i do find I, I, I mean, I don't think they change their formula, but for sometimes I just feel like, why is the formula really terrible in this palette versus other palettes? Oh my God, my eyes so crusty. I've used eye cream. I've tried to prep and everything and it's just not doing it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, okay, let's go into Irrevocably, Irrevocably, ah. Uh, which is a little bit of a deeper shade um, off like blue. I would love to have a deeper, deeper blue in this. Just because I feel like palettes, you should be able to do a few different situations. And I do feel like you need a very dark shade in a palette to make, um, you know, just to hue it a little bit or tone it. Um, different shades, you know? My chicken pork mark has become really um, troublesome. I think I'm gonna use one of the lip glosses on the lid too. Probably not recommended, but we're gonna do it anyway. A lot of fallout, but I am using a big blending brush, so I'm not too worried about that. This color blue is sitting quite nicely on top of a light blue, and it is a lot deeper than I thought it would be, so it's, it's, it's all right. It's a nice surprise there. Not deep enough, however, but it's deeper than I thought it would be. I'm gonna take Forever Young and just do it on the whole lid. This looks cute, like a deep sparkle. Okay. Oh, I should've just done this on the whole lid. It doesn't sit on top of the, that blue area as well as it could. Yeah, see, so when I try and blend the black over the blue, you can just see that all the black is just completely disappearing. It's actually <laughs> pretty patchy. I'm just gonna tap a bit more on top. i bring it out here. <sighs> I'm sure this black would be fine by itself, um, but trying to get it to sit on top of something else is virtually impossible. Okay, so my concern is, I've tied it up a little bit. My concern is this black isn't going to blend nicely along with this blue. I wanted to have a black out here, so we're taking it off because it's just patchy and horrible. So we're gonna do, say it out loud as our transition, just to get something through the socket. It's a little bit of a, oh, that's a nice, that's nice. That's like a gray brown. This would be a good contour shade for you very, very fair skin people out there. Obviously not using as much as I'm using now. And I'm just literally gonna pack that black onto the lid because I've, um, yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's my first day back. Trying to build shades on top of blue eyeshadows is such a chore. And I, you can definitely do it with some brands. There's some brands that make blue amazingly. This palette just doesn't seem to be one of them. Don't get me wrong, ColourPop has released blues that I really, really like. Some pigmentations just don't work that great, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's always the blues, it's always the pastels. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that black onto my blending brush. Let's just take it a little bit higher. I just wanna add another layer again, cause that shimmer just completely disappears when uh, you, you blend it out. 
Look, I don't know if you can see how much shimmer is on this one and then hardly anything on this side where I've been blending. And it's, it's a very loose shimmer in that black. I don't know if you can see it all around my face. Not a fan, not a fan of that. My God, it's made the palette a mess. Jeez. The shimmers are very nice. In the palette, ColourPop always do a nice shimmer. Okay, let me whack on some concealer, some foundation. And then we'll continue on. I've done my foundation, I've done my concealer. There is black eyeshadow everywhere. There's glitter all over my hands, you can't see it, but there is, there's black powder all over my desk. I want to scream and burn my house down and leave. It is everywhere, it's so messy. That was a horrible, horrible formula in that black eyeshadow. What the hell was that? So we're going a bit pale, cause you know, vampires. Okay. We'll go for one of the Super Shock highlighters. I really want to try Meadow. You know what? I'm actually gonna add, I haven't opened it or tried it. I might add vampire skin to those eyeliners I'm gonna give away. Um, cause I, I have so many and I, 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 I really, really like them, but I'm not gonna use on my skin a silver highlight. So there's no point really. I love, love, love the Super Shock formula from ColourPop. I think it can do no wrong. I think it's stunning. I usually use my fingers, but I'm scared to because they're literally covered in black. You know what, fuck it. Add a little bit up here. A little bit here. It does have that pinky, pinky highlight tone to it, which I don't mind. Looks terrible with this look. <laughs> this formula is really, really, really nice. I actually don't like this color. Don't like the color. I just, it's just a color. I don't like the color. That, that pink frosting I don't think is, is great. I've used this shade before in other formulas and I've liked it. Maybe it's a little bit too pink for me. Yeah, I, wow, I really don't like that. Okay, formula, beautiful. R I love Super Shock shadows. I think they're stunning. I love the bronzers. I love the um, highlighters. The, do they do Super Shock blush? Yes, they do. Love it, love that formula. Just that color for me, no good. Perhaps on a different skin tone, absolutely. But not on me, I just think it looks um, horrendous actually. You know what, I'm actually gonna just tap my foundation brush over the top because I have other videos to film after this and I'm not doing it like this. Okay, these I'm excited about. I love an unusual color lip oil. I, I cherish them, I think they're stunning. I'm not gonna go for Bells. And actually, you know what, let's add that to the, oh wait, I think I ripped the lid off, no I didn't. Let's add that to the um, giveaway as well. If it arrives with loads of black powder on it, I'm sorry. I love the look of Edward, Team Edward, the blue. Blue is great around the mouth on the lips because blue makes your teeth look whiter blue tones, and that can be a blue and a purple, it can be a blue and a red, and I just love that deeper. There's just something I love about a deathly blue lip. It smells good, it smells really good. Love that, is it getting darker? Oh, is this plumping? I don't like, I don't like that, but is it plumping? Love, love that, but I think that's beautiful. Let's try the deep one. Oh wait, look at this, love it. I have seen some people try and use his lip oils, like full on lipstick. Remember it's a lip oil and it's gonna be a tint of color. So this is, what's this? Team Jacob. Is there a reason in the stories why Jacob would be a black shade and Edward would be a blue? I like that too. I think that's really, really nice. Got a concealer around the lips. Mm. I, I, I love the lip oils, my favorite piece. I think that's really nice. This, um, I'm never going to use. Again, I don't like glitter. I don't like the shimmer and actually the smells of their body oils. I don't like heavy, heavy fragrance on my body. A little bit, I don't mind, but I've used one of those before, their body oils, and it's just almost a little bit too fragrant for me. Also, it kind of dries down. Um, to just glitter on the skin. And I feel like if you're gonna put glitter in a product, at least leave it with like a shine on the skin, like an oil shine on the skin. Cause I think that looked great on the legs. I think it'll look great on um, the chest, the neck, the chest, the neck and the shoulders, down the arms, things like that. Catching the light, I think it'll be really beautiful, but I do believe it has to stay a little bit shiny. I was gonna put some gloss on my lids, but I don't know if these are plumping. So I'm not going to, I'm not gonna risk it. If you're gonna get anything from this collection, and you want to use the makeup, right? I understand if you want to buy this collection for collecting purposes. There's makeup I buy to collect, to display, to look at, to love, to respect, you know? And then there is also makeup I buy to use. If you want to buy this for collecting purposes, go for it. Great, display it, 
love it. If you want to buy it to use, be wary, be worn. I don't think it's the best collection. The palette in general, taking even taking away the theme of a movie isn't something I would consider buying anyway. And I don't consider it usable for everyone. The, the shades don't match up well. The textures don't match up well in terms of blending, in terms of stacking. If I cared enough, I would be disappointed, but I don't really care about Twilight. You know, I'd care, care about Sailor Moon with, with Colourpop. That's why I was extremely disappointed. So if I was super into Twilight, I think I would be extremely disappointed with this collection. If you do want some of it, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's probably all sold out, but you know, they like to do a restock. Um, as I said, there's an affiliate link down there. There's also a discount code if you want it along with my other discount codes for Colourpop. Or just stock up on some of their actually good products. Because <laughs> I do have them. This is no hate to Colourpop. I just think his collection is terrible. Yes. All right. Well, let's end it there. Thank you so much for joining me. Do consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.